Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I started discussion on HDFS architecture and I have almost covered about Hadoop 1 architecture from scratch, right? Where we have discussed what is name node, what is data node, right? What is the default block size, what is replication factor, what is heartbeat signal, what is secondary name node, what is checkpointing, what is FS image, what is edit log, all these things I have covered in my previous videos, okay? So if you want to know the detailed explanation, then please go through the link given in the description box, right? So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one important concept related to recovery process if the name node fails and after that i will be discussing some quiz questions which are frequently asked in the interview process related to big data domain okay right so today's topic is safe mode so what is that i am going to discuss now okay so you just consider this particular picture right where basically one client has requested to write 100 mb of data now in Hadoop 1 default block size is basically 64 MB. So the 100 MB of data is split into 64 MB and 36 MB. And now the 64 MB and 36 MB data will be copied to different data node with default replication factor of 3. Okay, and this name node will be containing all the metadata information in FS image and edit block, right? And with each one hour interval, or after 1 million transaction is over, this particular edit log will be merged with the existing FS image in the secondary name node using checkpointing, it will create a new FS image, right? Okay, cool. Now suppose due to some reason, this particular name node fails, okay? So when this particular name node goes down, what will happen? That time, the Hadoop admin team will make such setup when any client cannot write some amount of data in the cluster, neither they can delete any blocks or any data from cluster. Okay, try to understand the reason. Okay, so when client want to write something or when client want to delete some amount of data present in data node, that time obviously metadata will be generated and that metadata has to be updated in the name node as part of master right now this name node itself is down right so that kind of functionalities is not possible to happen at that moment of time that's why when this particular name node fails when the recovery process goes on that means when the hadoop admin team basically copies the data from secondary name node to name node that is the fs image existing in secondary name node when they copy to the actual name node that time anyone cannot write something in this data node neither they can delete something only possible option is read okay because reading will not change the metadata or locations of different blocks present in the data node right only client will read that that is not a very big deal even some hadoop developers don't allow the read option also when the recovery process goes on when the cluster name node is down then only max to max read is possible because secondary name node also has some backup so from there somehow a client can able to understand where are the different blocks are stored in different different data nodes in the network and from there they can read but write and delete these are not at all possible because to do that obviously the metadata present in the name node has to be updated or in the secondary name node whatever metadata is there that has to be updated okay right and that things are not possible that time when name node is down. Okay, so this particular position is called safe mode. Okay, sometime you might see that your code is not running and it will throw this kind of error. That time you have to understand that name node has gone to safe mode and Hadoop admin team has started recovery. That's why your code is might be trying to delete something or might trying to write something in the cluster. Those things are not achievable at that instance. Okay, right. So you just need to remember these two points. What are those? Safe mode in Apache Hadoop is a maintenance state of name node. Okay, during which name node does not allow any modifications to the file present in the system or in the cluster. In safe node, HDFS cluster is in read-only mode and does not replicate or delete data blocks. Okay, 
you cannot write or replicate or delete those kind of activities whatever it will try to change the metadata those things will not be allowed during safe mode okay right i hope you got the process okay very important thing a very important question with respect to interview process also what is safe mode then you should able to explain when a recovery process goes on when our name node is down when from secondary name node the fsm is copied to original name node for recovery purpose that time no one can replicate or delete any data blocks present in our cluster only that time the cluster is in read mode that is called safe mode and then again hadoop admin team can release the safe mode then again once the name node is up and running perfectly its health is good when the data nodes again will start sending signals with three second interval okay then if when everything will be good then again client can uh, replicate or delete whatever activities is there they can perform okay right so i hope the, regarding safe mode the concept is clear one more thing i want to discuss sometime from the name of secondary name node we might get confused that this is the backup of name node okay that is from secondary name node by its name we assume that this is backup node but it's not secondary name node is not exactly backup of our original or primary name node right when our primary name node goes down due to some reason that time we just copy the fs image from secondary name node to primary name node but secondary name node don't have the exact functionalities whatever our name node does the secondary name node is just a helper to our primary name node in a hdfs cluster as it cannot perform all the functionalities of the primary name node you never you can send heartbeat uh, from data node to secondary name node that way it never called backup what is backup Back, backup is something suppose you are working in an organization in a team that time suppose you are absent uh, one day in your work then you should have a backup person who will do your work on your behalf right that is called backup person right but secondary name node when name node is down can never do those kind of things data nodes cannot send simply heartbeat signal to secondary name node only secondary name node will help the original primary name node to recover okay that if is image will be copied from secondary name node to original name node for recovery purpose right so sometime many prefer not to use this particular name secondary name node instead of that as in secondary name node older fs image and edit logs are combined using checkpointing and they create always a new fs image in secondary name node so another name for secondary name node is frequently uh, termed as checkpointing node because checkpointing happens in that node okay right so i hope you understood what is checkpointing node and what is safe mode right now it's time for some quiz questions right so here i have here i have gone to quiz section and here are some quiz questions okay right so without any further delay let's start so one is the client reading the data from hdfs system in hadoop does which of the following okay number option a get only the block location from name node option b get the data from the name node option c get both the data and the block location from the name node option d get the block location from the data node okay pause my video try to think about the solution here i am explaining so no doubt the correct answer is yes the client always get the block location from the name node which basically acting like table of content so the correct answer is option a get only the block location from the name node okay right coming to the next question which of the following is true about metadata option a metadata shows the structure of hdfs directories or files option b fs image and edit logs are metadata files option c metadata contains information like number of blocks their location replicas and option d all of the above so what is the correct answer yes correct answer is nothing but option d all of these because all are metadata right we already seen fs image and edit logs are storing nothing but metadata whatever client trying to do transactions all the transactions are captured in these two places right metadata also called hdfs directory and files with different block locations in which data node which block is stored how is the directory structure so option a is also correct and option c is obviously correct right that's what the name node stores as metadata then whenever client want to read something they go to name node they take the block location right 
and then they go to data node 2D entity data. So all these are metadata. All these are controlled by our name node and secondary name node. So option D, all of these are correct. Okay. Coming to the next question, which of the following stored data? Option A, name node. Option B, data node. Option C, master node. Option D, none of this. So the correct answer is nothing but correct data node. So data node is the actual content of a book. Name node is nothing but table of content. That analogy you just try to remember and you can easily answer this kind of question. Next question. For reading or writing data to or from HDFS, client first connect to name node, data node, secondary name node, none of this. So the correct answer is yes, name node. Because name node contains the locations where different blocks are stored in different data nodes. So client will first go there and from there once they get the block locations, then they go to data node to read the data, right? So option A is correct. Next, what is the default HDFS replication factor? 4321, which one is the correct? Correct, 3, right? But we can configure this, but that is not in our bucket. Hadoop admin team can handle that. Just to work in big data domain, whatever information required, I am explaining only that part, okay? Coming to the next one. HDFX works in which fashion? Master slave, master worker, worker or slave? Option D, none of these. So obviously correct answer is master slave, right? HDFS follows master slave architecture. Till now whatever we studied, name node is the master node, data node is the basically slave node, right? So master slave architecture it follows, okay? Right? That's pretty much it, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this particular video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment, subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. I am going to cover some more concepts related to Hadoop and Big Data Domain in my upcoming videos. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.